Father Time is fast asleep. A bag of cookies at his feet. He washed them down with chocolate shakes to make more room for pies and cakes. Now his poor old belly aches. He'll have bad dreams until he wakes. Giant bonbons. <laughs> Banana cream pies. Oh, <laughs> Father Time. Father Time. Oh, whatever shall I do? <laughs> It's five o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with you? I can't stop ringing. Lovely morning, isn't it, Gumby? Something's wrong with my clock. It won't stop ringing. Yeah, Gumby, put that thing away. Can you fix my clock? I know. Professor Cap. He's no sap. He'll fix it. Let's go. Okay. Can't you cover up that clock? It's driving me batty. Pokey, hand me that clock. Just as I thought. Time is going backwards. Fast. Holy Toledo! Time is out of whack everywhere. We've got to get Cap to fix this before anything else happens. <laughs> I see a classic example of Chrono. Some ambulistic defibrillation. Of course. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Can you fix my clock? Oh, oh my. Uh, Gumby. No, no. I can't repair your clattering chronometer. But put the noisy thing away, and I'll show you what's causing all the fuss. Yes. Now look in here. You see there? <laughs> So, you see, Gumby, the problem is not with your clock, but with Father Time himself. 
We must wake him from his bad dream. Only then will time flow smoothly again. <laughs> Great. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now this clock will be our gateway to the land of time. <laughs> What a weird-looking place! Mm -hmm. Well, now, we don't have time to sightsee, you know. There it is! Father Time's castle! <laughs> Shouldn't we knock or something? Well, since Father Time is asleep, he can't come to the door anyway. The door is open. Come along. Let's go in. This is sure a big place. How will we find Father Time? Let's see. I hear him upstairs. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Uh -oh. Chocolate-covered, garlic-flavored potato chips! <laughs> Sounds kind of tasty, actually. Right. Ah, oh, what a relief. Good morning, sir. I just had the strangest dream. We can talk about it over breakfast. <laughs> Don't worry, Father. I would enjoy a little time out from the 20th century.